AR, augmented reality. You might think that AR is too confusing or complex to implement in our mobile apps, that it is only for those who are into deep tech or for Zuckerberg himself. Well, today we will see how simply we can integrate AR functionality like Instagram filters or Snapchat filters into our Flutter app. So let's dive into the implementation. Let's begin by accessing developer.deepar.ai and logging in. After logging in, Navigate to New Project, provide a project name, and select the desired number of users per month. For this demonstration, let's choose 10 users. Proceed by clicking Continue to create the project. Next, add our Android and iOS apps by clicking on Add App and entering the app ID. This completes the initial project setup process. You can get your app ID from the build.gradle file located in the app folder of Android directory. Now. Copy the SDK key for future use. Head to the Downloads section and acquire the Deep AR filter pack. Here you will find multiple folders having the preview images and the Deep R files. We have already simplified these folders by moving the previews and Deep R files in separate folders. You can download these folders from the link displayed on your screen. Next, let's incorporate the downloaded filters into our project's assets. Create two directories named Filters and Previews. Place the .deepar extension files in the filters directory and the preview images in the previews directory. Open the pubspec.yaml file and include the deepar flutter package. Import the filter and preview assets as required. Proceed to the Android manifest file and add the necessary permissions. Create directories named pages, models, and data along with a constant .dart file. In the models directory, Create a filters.dart file containing a simple filters class with image and filter path attributes. Within the data directory, create a filter data.dart file housing a list of filters. Move to the pages directory and open the homepage.dart file. Create a deep AR controller and define and initialize controller function. This function initializes the controller with necessary parameters such as Android and iOS license keys and resolution settings. Next, Implement a build buttons function to display camera control buttons. Create a row containing icon buttons for camera flipping, picture taking, and flash toggling, each calling respective functions from the deep AR controller. Implement a build camera preview function returning a sized box with the deep AR preview wrapped in a transform.scale widget. Pass the deep AR controller to the preview. Define a build filters function to display a list of filters. Set the onTap property to call the switch effect method of the deep AR controller, passing the path of the effect file associated with the selected filter. In the main widget build method, return a future builder with the future set to initialize controller. In the builder, check the connection state. If it's done, display a column containing the camera preview, buttons, and filters. Otherwise, display a circular progress indicator. Now, let's see our app in action. And here you can see how we achieved this using Deep AR. You can find the code for this app in the description below. Just play around with it and have fun. If you are interested in developing apps, websites, or backend servers using Flutter, Hey Flutter is the perfect solution. With over seven years of expertise and a track record of crafting numerous applications and websites, we have got the experience you need. We're here to turn your ideas into reality. Our team of professionals, is dedicated to delivering top-notch solutions tailored to your needs. Simply go to hayflutter.com app, provide your details, and let's begin building together.